and welcome back to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot, this is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you all about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wine you will absolutely love. And we do a little mini-series of Samuel Blancs from around the world. Mm -hmm. um, we've tried two from Chile and we're now going to kick into our third one. We are indeed. Now we've been a little bit disappointed with uh, the first two, not typical Savions, which is fine actually if they're not typical as long as they taste nice. Yes, yes. But actually we didn't think uh, they, they gave up much. Really. No, not for a Sauvignon, and, and the, uh, you know, this episode we are looking at Sauvignons in particular, we're not looking at um, which, which um, we're not even looking at which country they're coming from really as such, we're not looking at, oh, oh maybe we are, we're not looking at the um, the um, supermarket, we're just looking at how well it shows itself as a Sauvignon, and yeah. so far the first two have not been amazing. So, we've got our third one, which yeah. hopefully <coughs> we shall see. Thank you very see. much. Anytime, sir, anytime. Yeah. I'd say this looks to me like it's halfway between the colour of the first and the second. Yeah, it's definitely, it's not quite as light as, yeah, not quite as light as number two, but not quite as dark as number one. Which puts it in between. <laughs> that, is, that is exactly, that's the right word for <laughs> Okay, okay, I'll get where you're going with this, John, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm liking this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it's in between number one and number two. Two. Um, if, yeah, a little bit more, a little bit more goldy. And okay, if you do kind of, if you if you give it a little swish around the glass, there, I can see some like little green flecks, which again I expect more so in the um, the, the Sauvignon. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I, I'm going to watch these videos now, Johnny. I'm going to see this. Uh, so let's have a little go on the nose. Okay. Hmm. That's nice. Hmm. Mm. That immediately invites you in, doesn't it? That is. That is. Um, oh. That's 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 giving me confidence. Yeah. That's pleasing. That's like someone being outside in the cold and someone opening the door of their house and you see this warm log fire crackling mm. along. You thought. It's like I want to get in there. Yeah, this is yeah. This is it, it's a little bit. This is more more we're looking for. It makes me feel comfortable. Okay, and, and again, it has that <coughs> that cut green grass. But this is it. Again, you know, this is nearly in between as well because it's got. What do you mean by it makes you feel comfortable? It makes me feel comfortable because it makes me feel warm. I almost know from smelling that I know what that's going to taste like. Okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. I feel at home as, uh, in that. I know this is going to be a Sauvignon. Okay, understand. Okay, but it, wait. <laughs> okay, I can see. Well, you also get is it has quite. It kind of s sits on the fence quite well because it has got that kind of nice citrusy. Um, that, that cut green grass, the nettle, everything I expect from a Sauvignon, but it, it, it smells a little bit softer. It doesn't smell like it's going to uh -huh. be sharp, if yeah. you know what I mean. It doesn't, you know, like number one we said, <coughs> oh, smell yeah. like you knew yeah. that was going to hurt. Yeah. It doesn't have that, so I'm be quite intrigued to see what this tastes like. So let's go. Let's, let's go, go for it. Go. Mmm. Mm. That's very nice, mm, isn't it? I don't think I, yeah. Very nice. Oh, I'm so glad. Yeah. Because I, I think, yeah. you know, this is, this is a particularly good something for me, I will say, uh, I'll put out that because, I, I, as you, you may know, like, some of do tend to give me heartburn and I, I struggle with a lot of them. Yeah. So, this, as I said, like, you know, sitting on the fence there, this has got those, that, that fresh citrus, the cut green grass in there for me. But it's also quite, it's quite ripe and, rounded so it's not quite as sharp although the acidity is there and there's a lovely bit of length there as well so that for me isn't in a white wine that 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 for me ticks a lot, lot of the boxes yeah yeah and has definitely for me um out of this this evening's episode has definitely redeemed a chili and sauvignon yeah I mean, after what we've tasted that is a yeah and this visos viscosity Oh, the viscosity, let's tell me more, John, about this viscosity. <laughs> it has a better mouth feel, I think, it is, does. What it is. Yeah. Is, is how you describe yeah. it. It's a lot more, yeah, exactly that. A little bit more kind of silkiness, uh, you know, the, the, the two were described as possibly thin, would you? A little bit watery, yeah. Yeah, yeah. very watery. 
and then this is yeah. Although it doesn't taste a little bit more oily, but but not. It doesn't taste oily in any way. But no, you know that sort of more more viscous sort of. Uh, yeah, it's definitely. Feel. Yeah. It's a difficult one to describe, isn't it? Mm. Mm. But right, what these guys do, they've done very well. But again, that is in, that's, that is my opinion. That would be a Sauvignon I would go back for because it has everything I would want from a Sauvignon. Because in, in Sauvignon steaks, because we have to bring it back to that, that's what we're doing. Yeah. <coughs> is I would I would expect it. I would still expect it to be a little bit sharper and a little bit more acidic. That for me is perfect, but that is not a perfect Sauvignon. If you know what I mean. So, for, to your taste, it's perfect. You, but yeah. actually, a perfect Savion, as most people perceive it, isn't to your personal taste. That, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad we sorted that out. But I still think that's a cracking Sauvignon. Cracking that's Sauvignon. very nice. I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure it is. Well, compared certainly with the other two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. So, um, point twice scoring. Okay, point scoring. Um, actually, so in terms of score, I put this, I ramped this one up um, to. 68. 68? Mm. Okay. Were you fine. expecting more? I was, yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was expecting more. I simply was. For me, <clears throat> as a Sauvignon, I would probably score it as, as, a, as a Sauvignon, mm. because that is what we're doing. It is. I would still not go up to 75, easy. 75. Really? 75, 78. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but personally, for me, and I know that this isn't what it's about, but <clears throat> if that was me, on a personal level, if that was a Sauvignon, I'd be looking 80, 85, 85, 85, because that, that for me as a Sauvignon personally would be 85, that for a Sauvignon in general, but yeah, yeah, 70. And what was the, what was the score at the top, <coughs> it was 65 for the first one, was it, I seem to recall, and 68. Yeah, so, so, yeah, below 70 for number two. Okay, so you've gone from below 70 to 80. Yeah, fair. Okay, so you've got a little bit over 10 on plus, and I've gone plus 10. So, um, yeah, maybe I'm just being unfair to uh, the Savion because perhaps it's not to my taste in the same way. Mm, perhaps. Maybe, I don't know. <coughs> but it's certainly a very nice wine. It's, it, it, you can appreciate this is certainly after the other two. And yeah. So back to back tasting, which is great to do that comparison. Yeah, it, it does make all the difference. It does, it yeah. does. Because um, we've said many times, it's, it's very difficult when you drink one wine one night and, you, and then another one another night. <laughs> it's very uh, hard to find those the tiny subtle things. Um, I mean, to be fair, the, the 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 difference in these wasn't that subtle. Um, there was quite a, a jump yeah. in them all. But yeah, for, for me, number three stands out. Price ah, again. I've been caught with this again because you've, you've given me some amazing wines and I've been saying um, 10, 12 quid and I said it's £4.50. But if I, if I was to guess the price, again, not knowing the supermarket, I'd, I'd happily pay 10 for it. I'll throw, I'd throw, in fact, I'd pay 12 quid for that. I might even pay more because I like it. But... I, I recognise the label, so I'm not cheating, I haven't cheated, I don't know what the price is, but I can't help but recognise the label and I think this one, because of the thing around the top, I just... This one comes from Audi. Three quid. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, no. If it's an Aldi wine, it obviously does have to be. Um, so uh, if, if this is Aldi, and they've been throwing out some cracking wines at four or five quid, I'll say six. I'll say six fifty. No, I'll say six fifty. You'll say six fifty. I'll say six fifty. Yeah. yeah. Without knowing, I was, I, I was before, before I thought about it being uh, recognised in the label. I, I would, I was going for seven fifty. Knowing that it's an Audi, I'm going to say that they're probably selling it for five fifty. Mm. But anyway, you'll see the price there um, at the bottom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Super. Well, that's the first part. As as we said in, uh, I think it was part one, part two. Um, we have some other countries to visit in terms of Savion, haven't we? Yeah. Where are we going? Uh, did we have we? That, that's Chile. South Africa. Yeah. France. Yeah. New Zealand. Yeah. What's the last? Have we got an Argentinian one? Or is it Australian? I well, don't there, know. there is another one. Anyway, there is another one. There'll be another one. There'll be another one. Uh, and we'll be interested then to, for us to decide which we like. Yeah, out of yeah, them all, which ones the are producing. Yeah. Which hopefully we should get from our scoring. The difficulty with the scoring, of course, is that we're not doing them all in one hit. And as John has often said, that you can, you know, if you're in a different mood, if you've mm -hmm. eaten something differently, then it will affect your taste buds, which will actually, uh, uh, you know, uh, affect the way you're, you know, the, the taste you perceive. Mm, but we'll, we'll try to be fair. And try yeah. To be as <coughs> yeah, as baseline as we can. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, well, I look forward to the next one. We'll see you there. Uh, in the meantime, don't miss us too much. Chin chin. Ah, chin chin. <laughs>